<laughs> so we got Neat versus Hades here. Been fighting a lot of these people in this bro clan. Huh? Actually, I'm never sure with Neath if I want to go the pot start or the throwing dagger start. I'm just gonna go do throwing dagger just because Hades is a little unpredictable. Basically, here we kind of gotta win in the early game or else we're gonna have a really fucking hard time. It's kind of how Neath goes in general. Maybe we might be able to pull something. The earlier you get there to use that map clip on the uh, uh, on the creeps, the better because you know you're gonna want to uh, regen the mana. So preferably get to that rep buff as soon as you can. Use your back clip and then wait for the buffs to spawn. Oh yeah, of course, Havoc. Thank you, man. Uh, that's uh, an Xbox One code. Havoc's gonna drop an Xbox One code in chat, guys, when we get the first kill. Or it has to be my first kill or the first blood. Hopefully we don't get first blood. Good thing here is that we can keep Hades uh, pushed out. See, our push on Neath is like even better than Hades, is, especially without a pod, he doesn't have one. Oh, so close. Ah, uh, it was a good fear. He didn't even take another tower shot. I don't like the no pot start on Hades because you really want to maximize his early game. Crit, boys. Even if he had continued with that and I didn't get a crit though, I had my ult, so I was just gonna auto attack him and ult immediately, right? I'm not sure what he was thinking there. What's up, Drunken? How you doing, man? Back from Boston, that's hype. What were you doing there? Oh, am I wrong? Is Havoc not dropping an Xbox code? Is the skin code and I suck? So yeah, basically with Neath, you want to be such a bully early game that she snowballs and you take over the game before she falls off. Kind of like a Thanatos in Conquest. Thank you so much, Havoc. Sorry about that confusion. Huh? So there's a Guan code in chat. It was claimed in one second. <laughs> Tryhards, man. Fucking tryhards. Some dope fireworks, that's hype. I actually didn't see any fireworks on 4th of July. But hopefully we see fireworks in Disney, right? There's like really nice light shows and stuff. That'll make up for it. Just keep them poked. That was kind of close. Um, had he gotten his, uh, you know, his three off uh, and his ult, I would have been dead for sure. But uh, it's just too much damage out on him. Neath early game is just too fucking strong. Right? I think what's throwing this guy is the fact that, like, you know, Hades usually has one of the strongest uh, early games, so he's kind of expecting to uh, to be stronger here than he is. <laughs> yeah, not enough. I guess he was expecting I would miss the uh, spirit arrow there, but I could just wait for him to. <laughs> I just wait for him to land to use it so that I definitely don't miss it. 
Oh, really, Drunken? Yo, for sure, man. Uh, I mean, for sure, if, if it's possible. I'm gonna take this tower and probably die for it. Definitely die for it. Oh my god, if I live. Oh, okay, okay. <laughs> I probably... Trades like that you don't really want to do, but if I'm ahead that much, sometimes I'm just too lazy to back. I'm just like, let me get the tower. Fine. If you look at what's actually open on the map right now, both red buffs, uh, and I've given him a decent amount of control back. And like I said, you want to keep uh, Neath alive so that she snowballs better. So overall, you know, not a smart play to go for that tower uh, uh, with my life. But the good thing is that uh, the sooner you have the tower down, the sooner you can start pressuring Phoenix with Neath, right? So, and the idea is to end early, so it's sort of helpful to have that that tower down even if it costs me like that. Right. Just not really in that situation. No, if this was Pernis, I would be fucked probably. Well, I think I'd actually do pretty well in the early game, but probably just fall off hard because he knows how to get Hades to, uh, to late. With his dash there, he should be dead. He just doesn't have enough damage, really. Even without the crit, that would have been dumb. You have a tomato Kali code? That's hype. Yo, do you have an Artemis code, Havoc? I'll take that shit. <laughs> I've been wanting the Artemis convention skin for too long, man. Oh, you're saving it for your stream. I see, you bastard. He's hogging all the good shit. What? What? World. Oh no! no! Why? Why did he stay, dude? But Phoenix got me. I'm down. I'm good. Why? <laughs> I think he's just on tilt at this point. But yeah, this is what Neat does to people, right? You just fucking, you just be a prick the whole game. Just keep poking, 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 and getting uh, structure damage off. Yo, what's up, Catman? Oh, dude, you don't know the store's open? Check it out. Exclamation point store in the chat. TeamEagerStore.com. Everybody, you guys watching too, make sure you check out TeamEagerStore.com. It's a fucking amazing uh, uh, store that we've set up for fans of Eager. Really nice products on there. The shirt that I'm wearing now. Um, this, um, I'll show you the products, but I'll show you a match again. Boom, boom. Pint glass, uh, shot glass, mug. Mug is OP, underrated. All right, he's just going for broke right now. There's no way he's going to win this. Hey. He's really going for it, dude. I respect that. <gasps> How did that not hit him? Oh, okay, okay. But still, how did that not hit? I was, it was, I even did like the, you know, step back, measure it, calculate it, hit him with the one for dramatic effect, and it just didn't hit. But yeah, Neath definitely has some of the most siege potential out of anyone in, uh, in Joust. So she can end the game uh, really fucking early. I can stand here and auto the, the Titan for days as well. Oh, I missed. Fuck. What is that, a range? No! 
got him, but I suck, you. So many missed autos this game. God damn it. Actually, I should not be going crap. If you really, uh, you know, once you get to this point where you're just bullying the, the Titan now, uh, down, you know, whittling it down, you want to get rid of the throwing dagger because it draws an aggro, uh, and then you'll reset the Titan. So go for, like, you know, Titan Spam, something that's going to be really potent for, uh, for structure damage. Just go ham. I can kind of ignore him and just go right in here. Neep is so overwhelming uh, at that stage in the game. <laughs> 